Welcome back, everybody. We're about to dive into our game of the week between the one on one H2K and Gambit Gaming. They're still looking for their first win of the summer uh, for Gambit Gaming. We're going to start by taking a look at the lineup for both teams, starting off with H2K as they are on the blue side for this one. Oduwamne, Lulex, Ryu, Yarnan, Kissing, and they are coached by Frawley. And then on the other side of the rift, on the red side for this one, Gambit Gaming would, of course, that one famous change in the bottom lane. Kawashar, Diamond Prox, Betsy, Forgiven. Gosu Pepper and Shams is their new coach coming in, is actually on trial for two weeks uh, behind the team. When we look at H2K and Gambit, high expectations coming in for both teams, but kind of from a different nature, and you also touched on this on PTL. Yeah, it's actually something that I, I feel quite strongly about, because for a team like H2K, they had such a good foundation. Their their objective-based play, their laning, their mid-game, everything was very solid. It got them a third-place finish. I feel they need to break out of that mold to improve upon that. A team like Gambit, on the other hand, they had some strong starts. As Betsy looked great, Cabochard looked impressive. Forgiven was the, the MVP of the split in spring. And there was all of this expectation on Gambit, but how well would they handle that hot potato aggressive lane of Forgiven plus Gosu Pepper? So I want to see how this sort of difference of approach, a team that has an established history versus a team that has an established set of players, and which one's going to come out as the better. Yeah, uh, if you would have taken a gamble before this, you might have said H2K because their early game was so strong in the spring split. What did you make of the fact that OG was able to completely dismantle them in the early game in their matchup last Yeah, game? I actually have to take exception to something you just said about H2K doing the basics and their foundations and fundamentals. We did not see that from H2K in their game against Origin. Yes, Origin did take them to pieces in the early game. Amazing's jungle path thing really got up in H2K, but they didn't get dragons. They didn't secure any of the first three dragons in the entire game, and that's what we've come to know from H2K. I would like to think it was a blip last week because game one, we actually saw them perform fairly well. We have to now kind of track that for H2K as they go forward throughout the summer split. All right, and then on the terms of, of the time on the side of Gambit, rather, as you said, about b building up that new style versus elements, we did see that they mimicked kind of the game that SK Gaming did. Would Forgiven on the side of Gambit, what route uh, are they going with? I expect a little bit more of the same. I think when you've got such a imposing player in Forgiven and you've got a set of players that do like to get aggressive, Kabushar, Diamond, Gosu, Forgiven, they all want to play as far forward as possible. I think this is a team that is going to become one of the most aggressive. Sean's has only just recently joined the roster as we've obviously heard he's on trial. We know that the team had a little bit of difficulty coming into the summer split. So I feel with more games under their belt and more time, they're going to be aiming towards the Fnatic style of the spring split. Go, 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 pedal to the metal, and it's whether or not that's going to be executed well enough amongst these players that are still learning to play one with one another. Pedal to the metal, you mentioned Diamond in there, who could be a factor, but honestly, Diamond and Lulex, both on the side of H2K as well, didn't have the best showing in game in uh, week one, rather. Also, both prioritizing that Evelyn pick, but not really making it work. Yeah, the Eve pick was, was part of the reason for both teams, but one thing I want to kind of look at is Diamond didn't do what he normally does, and that's counter jungle all that much in the games against Elements, and Lulex was predictable against Origin. Lulex stuck to his greedy early jungle path. He was on Eve, no sustain, and if you play a jungler like that, you've always got to account for the opportunity for a jungler like Gragas to just go and gank very early on. And that is what Origin did. And I wonder now if Diamond can look to counter jungle, that might be exactly the same as what Origin were able to do to H2K last week. And I want to expand on that. Not only did we not see an impact from the player decisions as far as using their champions, but there was a lot of discussion and talk about itemization, about whether they're building to counter their opponents correctly, whether they're building the right jungle enchants, describing again on the pathing route, why were they not doing what they were doing? Because it felt like there was better choices to be made. So we need to just see if it was first week jitters or whether it's just re um, accustomizing yourself to Evelyn, a champion that has just all of a sudden become almost a top tier pick because of how much emphasis there is on banning other junglers out of the pool. Yeah, we'll see how highly contested she is in this pick and ban phase and things are ready to go on stage. So let's hand it off to the casters and get into that game. Thank you, Shox. We are just about ready to get this one underway. This is our game of the week, guys. Remember, H2K taking on Gambit. But between these teams, to start things off, Crapple, we've only got one win on the board. That's H2K taking down Rocket. Yeah, and a little contrary to popular belief, H2K finishing very high in spring, spring split. A lot of hope uh, for Gambit. Didn't practice all too much due to varying, varying circumstances. 
started off okay, but then went 0-2, and both teams desperate for a win. And will we see that hunger translate